and our next speaker is uh, Alexei Moskalev. Station here. So, uh, whenever you're ready, you can uh, you can start. Um, dear colleagues, I'm really happy to be here and uh, to present uh, our data at this uh, great and historical place and this uh, historical conference. Um, it's a paradigm that uh, comparison of different parameters, uh, for example, physiological, genetic, or omics parameters of uh, different uh, species, uh, very uh, evolutionary closed, but uh, con uh, they, that can um, be contrasted in uh, their uh, lifespan, uh, could be uh, the key to uh, new longevity targets and uh, geotherapeutics. In this work, uh, we uh, compared uh, omics uh, data on uh, different uh, species of Drosophila genia, uh, not only Drosophila melanogaster, as, as presented uh, this morning, uh, but uh, many other species uh, from 12 to uh, 14. For example, uh, we studied the lifespan of different species and observed uh, lifespan differences in the three groups. Uh, Long-living group uh, consists only one species, uh, Drosophila virilis. Uh, the medium-living uh, group uh, were the um, most uh, large group and a few species of short-living. Uh, and the uh, uh, we uh, repeated these experiments in two uh, medium background uh, uh, with uh, twice uh, concentration of yeast and uh, uh, standard medium uh, because uh, we know that uh, in some experiments uh, the high content of uh, proteins in the food could uh, uh, negatively affect uh, the lifespan, but we uh, uh, could see that it depends on the genetic background. Uh, also, from uh, the previous day, we know that resilience is uh, the key uh, property of longevity, and we studied uh, different uh, kinds of stress, uh, for example, starvation, oxidative stress, hypothermia, and ionizing radiation, uh, comparing the maximum lifespan of that species with the um, survival time uh, after acute treatment uh, with the uh, stress. Um, and the, we observed uh, a good correlation, positive correlation between uh, stress resistance and the uh, maximum lifespan of the species. Uh, in a tight collaboration with uh, Vadim Gladyshev's uh, lab, we studied uh, uh, transcriptomic uh, uh, by RNA uh, seq uh, in uh, 14 uh, Drosophila species and observed uh, that longevity signatures are uh, very uh, related to upregulation of fatty acid metabolism, uh, downregulation of activin signaling, and the uh, altered dynamics of RNA splicing. And uh, um, on the process level, it is interesting to note that the expression uh, patterns resembles uh, those of flies under dietary restriction, but on the individual gene level, there is no significant overlap with uh, previously reported uh, genes in longevity. Uh, then we studied metabolite profiling by high-resolution uh, direct mass spectrometry in uh, that uh, Drosophil species and observed uh, uh, high obvious um, clustering of uh, long-living, uh, short-living, and medium-living uh, species on a specific metabolite level, we could see that uh, long-living species are uh, contrast uh, by uh, such co uh, compounds that uh, amino acids, uh, including uh, uh, BCAA and other, um, and also uh, fatty acids, and uh, another interesting compounds like L-carnitine, taurine, trichalose, glucose, uh, on a process uh, level, uh, we could see the overrepresentation of amino cell tRNA bath synthesis, uh, BCA, arginine, uh, alanine, 
glutamate, glycine, serine, threonine, uh, that are very related to uh, longevity in many experiments uh, of other colleagues. And also uh, could see uh, carbohydrate metabolism uh, included in the longevity pattern between species. We tried uh, to combine uh, different uh, already known interventions uh, to get uh, radical life extension in a different uh, Drosophila species background and observed that uh, we could uh, twice uh, maximum lifespan in Drosophila virilis as a long-lived model and uh, uh, about maybe four times uh, high extension in a, a short-lived uh, um, species of Drosophila. It's uh, very common that uh, in long living background you could not uh, extend too much. <laughs> uh, and uh, we uh, did the same in uh, Drosophila melanogaster, which is medium uh, living uh, species between uh, our uh, species of uh, under investigation and observed that combination of uh, different factors including uh, low temperature, uh, dark uh, lighting, uh, uh, living in dark uh, circumstances and the uh, combination of three geroprotectors and uh, uh, extend the lifespan uh, in that uh, species uh, radically uh, in combination with the long-lived uh, muta mutation background, uh, we could see uh, 213 days is the maximum. Uh, it's a record for this species. And then uh, we uh, studied uh, transcriptomic uh, changes of treated flies, uh, Drosophil melanogaster flies, and observed uh, alterations uh, in epigenetic uh, gene, uh, uh, genes. Uh, lipid metabolism, cellular respiration, nutrient uh, sensing, immune response, and autophagy. On, uh, uh, and uh, um, some of uh, that effects uh, were uh, sex-specific. Uh, we could see that in uh, uh, wild-type uh, genetic background, uh, in Drosophila males, uh, after a combination of factors, uh, we could see uh, mostly down regulation of many pathways and only few upregulated pathways, including oxidative phosphorylation, uh, circadian rhythm, and the HIPAA mechanosensing uh, signaling pathway. In uh, females of uh, wild type uh, melanogaster background, we could see both down regulation and upregulation. Uh, it is interesting to know that HIPAA signaling also included. In uh, uh, long-living uh, mutant, uh, the combination of factors also uh, down-regulated uh, uh, many pathways in uh, males and up-regulated uh, the same uh, circadian rhythm and the HIPAA mechanosensing signaling. In females, uh, we could see uh, mostly up-regulation, uh, for example, citrate uh, cycle as in uh, females of uh, wild type background. As a conclusion, uh, I would like to uh, present our next idea to make a radical life extension in mice, uh, but uh, uh, as a difference with uh, our Josophil experiment, we are going to, to study translatable combinations, translatable uh, interventions. Uh, we, we've chosen uh, 29 interventions uh, and uh, 10 different combinations uh, of uh, small molecules, optomers, recombinant proteins, gene therapies, and lifestyle intervention. Uh, and as a uh, endpoint, we are going to, to look at maximum lifespan, survival uh, curve, um, frailty index, and morphological changes. Uh, and, uh, we are going to start uh, from uh, old mice of outbreak strain, and we are open uh, to discuss uh, the experimental design. Uh, at uh, the conclusion, I would like to thank uh, my laboratory and many collaborators involved in all these experiments. Thank you so much for your attention.
Thank you so much, uh, Alexei. Do we have any questions for Alexei? We have one down here. Thanks. Yeah, it's really fascinating seeing um, data from such a huge diversity of Drosophila species. And I just, I mean, it's very impressive you managed to get lifespans out of so many. But they must, to some extent, be unequally suited to the laboratory food, aren't they? Do they have similar diets in the wild? And might unequal comfort with the laboratory situation account for some of the species differences? Um, uh, we uh, for, for our first experiment, we decided to use uh, two different mediums uh, because of your previous uh, works, uh, whether uh, caloric restriction uh, that uh, uh, shown uh, uh, the effect of not uh, calories itself, uh, but uh, protein content, uh, sh uh, sugar content. And uh, uh, that's why uh, for the first experiment we decided to, to do uh, both medium, uh, but uh, for other experiments we used a standard me medium uh, balanced in, in yeast and carbohydrates. Um, More questions for Alexei? We have time for um, a few more. Otherwise, I think we will. Oh, we have a question from down here. Yes, Wait, you need a, you need to, we need to have the microphone. Otherwise, the streaming people will not be able to hear you. Hello. Could you please elucidate a bit on the criteria for the darkness? How much darkness and uh, how much did it matter? Uh, uh, because of uh, our previous studies in Drosophila model, the living in uh, dark uh, circumstances uh, 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 could be beneficial for uh, flight lifespan. Uh, I'm not sure that it's translatable <laughs> for, for human at all, uh, but uh, for Drosophila it's, it's working. It's uh, whole day. Yes, uh, the whole day dark, uh, uh, 12 but 12 and the whole day light. Uh, we compare it and observed that uh, whole day dark uh, um, is been most beneficial. For Joseph. All right. Well, thank you so much, Alexei. Let's give him another <laughs> welcome. And uh, Alexei, uh, if you go, remove your mic.